Hi, this is Venetia and welcome back to Skipping with Jesus. I have a word that um, came from Jesus' voice. It was him speaking and um, that I scribed for on the night or early morning of September the 16th of 2024 at 1.09 a.m. And the title of this word is my daughters of Zion, be strong and courageous. My daughters of Zion, be strong and courageous. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace, your love, your mercy. We thank you for sending your son to die for us. We thank you for raising us up from the ashes of our life into these beautiful bouquets of flowers that you have planted in your garden. I pray, Holy Spirit, that these words that were given to me by my Lord on that morning can, will go to, um, to those hearts that you've prepared to receive. Holy Spirit, here am I, surrendered to you on my Father's altar. Ignite in me the fire of your presence to release this word to the father's daughters, the daughters of Zion. Holy Spirit, here am I. Take over my vessel and speak through my voice. I ask this in Jesus' precious name to give all the glory and honor to you, Lord. Holy Spirit, here am I. My daughters of Zion, be strong and courageous. In Joshua 1, 7 through 11, in the NIV, it says, Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it, then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So jo Joshua ordered the officers of the people, go through the camp and tell the people, Get your provisions ready. Three days from now, you will cross the Jordan here to go in and take possession of the land the Lord your God is giving you for your own. Oh, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Get your provisions ready. Daughters of Zion, I hear him saying to us, he's given us the downloads of the blueprints. We gotta be strong and courageous, get our provisions ready. Because in three days from now, you will cross the Jordan here to go in and take possession of the land the Lord your God is giving you for your own. And the Lord says, I say to you, O daughters of Zion, you have been faithful witnesses of me. You have spoken of the great things I have done in your life, testifying of how you have overcome through the Holy Spirit's work in you and through you. My beloved daughters, you will reveal my glory as the Holy Spirit accomplishes miracles, signs, and wonders through you. Now has come the salvation and the power of the authority I have given to you as your Messiah. My daughters, your accusers will be hurled down. You will triumph over him by my blood as the Lamb of God and through the words of your testimony, for you did not love your lives so much as to shrink from death. Therefore rejoice, 
you heavens and you daughters who dwell in them. Now you will testify into the lives of others of me. Testify of how you overcame sickness, death, trauma, and destruction. Obey what you are hearing me ask of you through your faith and the relationship you have with me as Lord of your life, you will begin to accomplish the greater works. Thank you, Jesus. The greater works, those works greater than I did as the son of man. My precious daughters, this is the day of my great awakening, revealing my glory throughout the earth through you, my faithful witnesses. Your light will shine brighter as you walk out my calling walking into the plans for your life according to the will and purpose of the Father. Many will come to know me as Lord of their lives through the words of your testimony. My glory you carry is pushing back the darkness and exposing the evil. You will begin to call out those things in the darkness into my marvelous light. Through the words you speak, they will come to know me as Lord of their new lives. With the Holy Spirit overflowing out of you, through your touch, you, you will open blinded eyes to see me in my glory. You will cause the mute to speak my name, worshiping me in spirit and truth. With your touch, deaf ears will open to hearing my voice for the first time. Sickness and disease will be healed. The lame will walk. Broken and wounded hearts will be healed. Demons will be exposed, called out, and cast out into the sea. Daughters of Zion, you will carry my glory throughout the earth. In these last days, many will only see destruction and death. But you, my daughters, my remnant warrior bride, will bring life from death and light out of the darkness. Rising, raising dead things to life in me. Dry bones with, will breathe and live again. No, this is the, my time for your recompense. The pain of your past will continuously be walking, walking out ashes of beauty through you, revealing to the world my light, life, and glory through you. You have been refined in my fire as the carriers of my glory, faithful witnesses of me as Lord of lords and King of kings. Do not forsake in your time with me in your secret place. My daughters, as you go forward in the calling I have placed on your life, there are higher levels of my glory I desire to reveal to you. But continuously focusing, I'm sorry, by continuously focusing on me, you will become more aware of how I work in and through you, strengthening our partnership in co-laboring together down uncharted paths of bringing my kingdom to, into the earth according to the will of the Father's purpose and plan for your destiny in me. It is I, the anointed one, the great I am, that is greater in you than he that is in the world. The world will know that I am the one and only God through watching the life you live in me. For you are a beacon of my light shining by my glory through you into the darkness that has enveloped the earth. It is through you that the world will know that I am a good shepherd, that I desire all should come to know me as Lord and Savior of their lives. To know me is to know the Father. Through me there is freedom and whom I set free is free indeed, says Yahweh. Oh, my daughters of Zion, be strong and courageous. Ladies, he is calling us. You know who you are. You know we are a, a mighty remnant bride we have been refined in the fire. We have come from trauma, worn, torn countries. We have gone through trauma in our lives. We have been um, uh, uh, had assassination attempts on our lives. 
Um, we have had assignments against our lives, but yet we still stand. For this day, he has called us. This day, he has called us to rise up and to be strong and courageous. And the days ahead and what he has and the assignments he has given us. Now, I would ask you if you have not um, subscribed to this to God's channel. This is God's channel. This is none of me. Believe you me. How he is aligning the tribe of, of precious daughters together with the common purpose. Um, gifting that complements each other. Um, it is simply supernatural what he is doing in raising up this Latin time mighty warrior bride and his daughters. I am telling you, we are a force to be reckoned with. We are a force to be reckoned with. We no longer will sit on the sidelines and let our children be taken by the enemy. We are rising up for such a time as this. Our Father has, has pruned us. He has healed us. He has called us out. He has anointed us. He has given us authority to go out and bring back what rightly belongs to him. I encourage you, go forth in the power of the Holy Spirit with courage and boldness. For we are the Abba's daughters, a part of the royal priesthood for these end days. We are co-heirs with Jesus Christ. <laughs> that should blow your mind. It does mine. We are co-heirs with Jesus Christ. Heaven's resources are at our disposal when we are doing the Father's will. We have got a, to build the blueprints. We have got to go uproot and tear down the enemy's strongholds. Oh, what an exciting time to be alive. I don't know about you, but yes, I want Jesus to come and come quickly. But I am so excited to go and unlock prison doors. I am so excited. I'm sorry, I just get overwhelmed when I think about setting captives free. Oh, that someone would have come and set me free. Oh, that someone would have come and unlocked that prison door. No, it was Abba Father that came through the death of my daughter. He pruned me to a stump but left the roots. Hallelujah, He left the roots. Though they were shallow, he knew that they were going to grow deep. Oh, I cannot tell you what he is doing. I would spend days to tell you how he's aligning his bride, how he's calling his daughters out. Oh, the time is now. The time is now. We've gone into a new year. He's released the tsunami of his glory. He's taken us out of isolation. He's put us in positions in the front line. Now may we go in the power of Jesus' name and rescue our children. I love you all. And I pray that when this word resonates with your spirit because I know it's going to because the Holy Spirit is united with his daughters calling us out he's calling us out millions of us around the world I can't tell you it, it, just from this channel alone just from this channel alone, 
how he's aligned a beautiful tribe of his bride. It's time. It's time. I love you all. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. And again, may the Father find us faithful in skipping down those uncharted paths with his son. I love you. I love you. I love you. Bye-bye. Till next time.